to get it again on second down. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Throwing Jones. Open man is Kendrick Bourne. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A big play there for the Patriots. A very early momentum changer there. Actually a dream killer for the defense because they forced a third down. Felt like they had a good chance to get off the field defensively. And then they got hit with that big play. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. On second down, it's Harris. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now Harris shifts by at the 15, and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Brought down that time by Christian Kirksey. Second and five now. Jones, he finds Aguilar over the middle. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Seven on the drive, third and a yard. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Second and goal from inside the five. Now Jones. He will find his tight end Smith for a Patriot touchdown. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Pats have taken the early lead. Extra point up and good by Folk, and that makes the score 7-0. A 10-play drive that time, and it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25 as King opts for the touchback. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. 
That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. You know, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. They go play action. Mills. And that is incomplete. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. On third down, here's Mills. That's going to be complete to his tight end, Akins. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Mills now looks to throw on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To throw, Mills. He'll get this into the hands of Nico Collins. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 41-yard line. Mills on first down. Caught here by Conley. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. First down, Mills. And he's got Jordan complete right side. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Here's Mills. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. So now after the sack, Mills and the Texans needing to navigate a third and long. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Mills from the gun on third down. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Fine work by the Patriot D there, and it's fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Mills to throw for it on fourth. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Texans tried it, but they come up empty here on fourth. And the Patriots' defense is going to take over on downs. They'll start the drive with Harris. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Back to throw. Jones toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. That's complete right side to Asi Asi. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. First down, here's White. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. They'll find his tight end here, Asiasi. 
That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the short catch and flip the down marker back to one. Open man is Asiasi, the tight end. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. We remind you in just a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Orlando and our good friend Jonathan Coachman. Coach will run through some of the numbers and the next-gen stats from this first half of football. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. They'll get him that time thanks to the safety blitz as he's safe for a loss of four. Work now for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. The frustration evident there because he couldn't find anyone on third down, and he left no doubt that he was throwing that one away. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. And the football going back over now to the Houston Texans. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory, but the other guys held up. <laughs> they didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold it. He up. trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. Well, we'll see what his offense can do. The slant caught by Amendola. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Again, it's Mills. Mills can't get away, and down he goes. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Play fake, Mills. And that is caught at the 10-yard line. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple of seconds mulling over with the penalty? I don't even do know that? why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that will tie our game here in the third. <laughs> 